Hello, welcome back to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations with leaders in the digital infrastructure and global connectivity markets. And one of those leaders that I'm referring to, of course, is Jennifer Holmes, Chief Commercial Officer with London Internet Exchange, also known as the Lynx. Welcome, Jennifer. Hi, thank you for having me. Yeah, absolutely. We're so excited to have you here at Capacity Europe in beautiful London. Uh, <laughs> we are in the new um, a new space here at the show. It's really, really nice. Kind of exclusive feel in the space we're in right now. So um, we're excited to just get a quick update about the latest that's going on with Lynx. So um, uh, you guys are the UK's uh, premier um, uh, peering community and yeah. uh, the leading one, of course. So if you could just share a little bit about what you do for folks who don't know how you connect um, companies to cloud services and other digital infrastructure. Yeah, certainly. So um, Lynx has been around for 29 years. It's our 30th birthday next year, which we're very excited about. Um, and we're really we started off with sort of five large UK networks coming together to exchange their data with each other and it snowballed from there really. Mm -hmm. So um, we provide infrastructures in London but also in Manchester, Scotland, Wales and then in, we've got a site in North America and then we also have partnerships in, in Saudi Arabia as well. So we provide that infrastructure for networks to join and once they've joined that infrastructure they can then freely um, collaborate with all of the other networks on that track, on that uh, not on that LAN. Mm -hmm. So in London, our main service is peering, um, which is literally just the exchange of data between networks. But we also have a, offer a lot of other services um, like Microsoft um, Azure Peering, uh, other cloud um, services as well, mm -hmm. um, closed user groups. All sorts. Anything you might need to, for your interconnection needs, you can get at links here in London. Excellent, yeah. excellent. So, well, happy early 30th Thank birthday. Thank you. <laughs> that's very exciting. Yeah, that's quite, a, quite an accomplishment. Um, yeah. And, you know, you're talking about global expansion, and, you know, we've certainly seen some rumblings in the news from, mm. from links about some of your expansion news in Africa and the Middle East. And, um, and you know, of course, we're here in London, and the UK is still a very, very important region. So um, can you just shed some light on the latest, in particular, in the UK market? Yeah, release? yeah. So as you said, obviously, we've been focusing a lot on Africa at the moment. We announced our new exchange in Nairobi, um, which will be going live later in the year. But as you say, uh, the UK is our home market. It's our bread and butter. It's what we what where a lot of our business happens. So we like to make sure that we have a lot of engagement with our members, um, especially those in the UK, making sure we're serving their needs back here whilst we're at the same time tackling that global expansion. Um, and we do that um, mainly through having a lot of engagement with our members and events and things like that, but also making sure that we're really keeping up to date with the industry in the UK, mm. making sure we're keeping up to date with all our data center partners as well as looking at new partners in the UK. So this is a very fast moving industry. There's new players coming in all the time. So yeah. we make sure we come to events like this and that we collaborate with any partners um, in the industry and specifically in the, new, in the UK that we think might benefit our members. So that can um, uh, evolve into expanding into new data centers or providing new services via partners. Um, so yeah, we still do have a lot of focus on the UK and it's a lot around partnerships and building building that presence. Yeah, so that's a perfect segue to the next question, which is about, um, thank you very much, uh, any um, new services uh, I hear you're kind of rolling out to your core UK, you know, to reach even more UK customers. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so mm -hmm. we've expanded a lot um, more into sort of dedicated services for um, for our members who might be trying to just have dedicated connections with another member. So mm -hmm. we we launched... Um, private VLANs, a technical term, but it's basically a one-to-one -one connection a couple of years back. And now we also have closed user groups, which is where a group of our members who are specifically interested in the type of traffic um, mm. can can have that special connection and just just have that secure connection to collaborate with each other that way. Um, working with all the cloud providers, as you can imagine, they're all pretty big names. Um, and we're bringing those on as and when uh, we can. So we have a number of cloud uh, providers uh, available on in London and now in Manchester as well. So yeah, it's just a case of keeping up to date with the the technology and mm -hmm. what the technology can offer us and what we can then um, offer as added value to our members. Excellent, awesome. So um, 
we've talked a lot about the expansion that you have going on, new new products, uh, rollouts, how you're serving your existing members. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything else you can tell us about what's what's on the horizon? What's next for Links? Yeah, I think I've covered quite a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really about listening to the members, what they want, where they want us to go. Because we're non-profit and we're membership owned, mm -hmm. we... Um, we have to think really carefully about where we're going and what we're using member funds for. So um, all of our future business cases are very carefully considered. Um, we're speaking to a lot of data centers about different markets, global markets at the moment. There's a lot going on um, in the Middle East and Africa. And we announced Nairobi and we're looking at other locations, but stressing that we only decide on business plans if they make absolute sense to our members. Um, and, and we need to make sure that Anything we do, we're making a real difference to where we're going to. Mm -hmm. So, um, so yeah, watch the space. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> watch the space. And uh, thank you so much for joining us and giving us a quick update on the latest no with Thank Jennifer. you for having me. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we're so glad to have you. And to our viewers, uh, stay, in, stay in touch. Watch this space because we will be uh, continuing to live stream interviews here at Capacity Europe um, for a few more hours today and then tomorrow morning. And as always, happy networking. <laughs>